Hello everybody. As you see, I have a bit crazy conditions today. We had a snowstorm last night, around 3 inches of snow. But this morning it's 35-36 degrees Fahrenheit. So everything is melting and also we have slight rain. It would not be that bad, but tonight um, the temperatures should go down to 5 Fahrenheit. So everything will completely freeze overnight. I hope I'm not gonna be included in this process. So if you are interested, buckle up. I just love the confidence of the comic the rubber boots. You can go wherever you want. It's awesome. Without these boots, I would be done after 10 minutes walking. Big disadvantage of this terrain is that I'm leaving very visible track which is not good as you see I found some kind of trail maybe it will take me to some better location okay after some time of planning and thinking I found these two small trees and my plan is to build first platform to get off the cold ground at least 5-10 inches as, as best as possible. Then I will build tarp probably the A-frame over the platform. And then I will build another wood structure over the tarp, copying the shape of the tarp and I will try to cover that with snow. I was thinking I can finish it, but unfortunately I can't. It's 4 o'clock, 23 degrees, wind is picking up, and this is all I was able to find in, let's say, 20 yards radius, and make it with sticks like this, it will take hours. Sorry guys, but this shelter will need to stay just as a tarp shelter for tonight. For you, it's good. You are watching it at comfort of uh, modern heating. But me, I will probably have miserable night. I will see, maybe not. And this is the support for the sides, as you see it's bended, so it will keep it open and inside I have more room. For tonight I also want to add poncho here to close the opening against wind. I start not feeling my toes and getting hungry so I will get inside the shelter and give you a little tour and we also have slight flurry maybe you can see that so <laughs> that'll be great so 
so I am not completely inside the shelter but wanted to show you how it looks like I have my sleeping bag ready I will just open it now and inside it's around 20 Fahrenheit nothing pleasant <laughs> here I am in the shelter and I wanted to quickly show you I also have simple fleece liner for sleeping bag you see this is the liner so I will put it inside my black military sleep bag sleeping bag which is rated to 10 Fahrenheit tonight should be 5 so I need some extra protection so let me show you around the kitchen I have the boiling kettle from expedition research always going with me and inside I have already prepared noodles and I will put beef jerky inside for heating the water I will use the can as I used before and I will show you how I will set it up right now here I have three long screws which I will put on the triangle into the ground above the can so the pot can sit on top of them so let's light up the can which might be a little bit tricky because I'm laying on my stomach but that's my only option at this point huh? this looks good I want to show you I made myself a little table right here so I can prepare my food even in this 12 by 14 inches space isn't it beautiful Keeping certainly all my water in the sleeping bag and all the electronics and batteries and stuff like that because as you can see <laughs> still it's still not Florida Sun here <laughs> hopefully you can see for the light today I took the headlamp which I reviewed the A2S and while I'm waiting for the uh, noodles to really get nicely warm and tender I just want to let you know that uh, I have plans uh, for next video which will be my EDC uh, EDC stands for everyday carry I never did any video like that but uh, now I have some kind of system for my EDC pants and the entire system somehow can be transferred to shorts or long pants even uh, I have EDC backpack which I would like to show you so definitely stay tuned for next video I believe you will like it by the smoke from this opening I guess the dinner is ready mm -hmm. thank you Expedition Research you saved me again honestly I am feeling really protected here uh, even if it's just a couple tarps <laughs> all right so I finished the dinner I use the pee bottle as always to get ready for the 
sleep. I will give you quick temperature update. Currently the temperature is 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around zero Celsius. So if nothing happened, I will hopefully wake up in the morning. And if something interesting or important, I will definitely let you know. Otherwise, see you in the morning, guys. Good morning. It's around 6.40 on Sunday and it was cold night. And the morning is really cold, as you can see. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do if I will start the can but it's it's not gonna help at this situation that much also as you see everything has some frosting especially these two things but I guess the lamp is still working yes that's nice test it's not the best to have only tarps in these temperatures. Good morning again. You wouldn't believe. I just crawled back inside the sleeping bag and slept another hour. Very nice bonus. I need it. And now the hardest part. To get out of this shelter. I found gloves. Perfect. Ah, they are warm. I kept all important clothes inside the sleeping bag and this is helpful. Okay. I'm alive. Everything is frozen solid. <laughs> Including me. More clothes, more clothes. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was maybe not that much interesting as I planned with building the shelter completely, but uh, trust me, it was impossible. Going forward, as I mentioned, there will be the video about my EDC items. Also, I will add some upgrades uh, which you can make to your gear. So it will be, I believe, very interesting video and helpful. So stay tuned guys, thank you very much for watching, thank you for support, subscription, comments and I hope I will see you at the next video. Until then, take care.